Our first competitor is the Italian stallion himself, Rocky Balboa. Born as the only child to a Roman Catholic Italian American family in the city of Philly, Rocky Balboa spent many years training to become a professional boxer. After many years of amateur fights, Rocky was able to finally have his faithful exhibition bout with the heavyweight champion himself, Apollo Creed. After losing this first major exhibition bout and fight in a split decision, Rocky challenged the champion himself for a rematch, ultimately defeating Apollo Creed and taking his heavyweight title. After this, Rocky became a heavyweight champion with an incredible record. That is until a new challenger arose in Clubber Lang, who knocked him out in two rounds. In a rematch, Rocky reclaimed his heavyweight champion and continued to expand his incredible record, constantly overcoming overwhelming odds and pushing his very limits to the max. Philadelphia's greatest son is an inspiration to all fighters and all Americans and people in general around the world. He is a pop culture icon for a very good reason. The story of Rocky Balboa is an incredibly inspiring American epic of iron resolve. But does that mean our hero Rocky has what it takes to defeat our next competitor? Known as the King of Prison Fighters, Yuri Boyka is the Russian master of the mixed martial arts who has the title of the most complete fighter in the world. Convicted on several accounts of homicide and first degree murder, Yuri Boyka quickly became known as an unstoppable force in the ring, destroying all of his opponents in less than three rounds. That's right, less than three rounds, most of them just lasting one round. All of this, however, stopped when he finally faced his first defeat at the hands of an American heavyweight boxer during a rematch. During this rematch, Boyka's leg was broken and his reputation was ruined. That is, until the King of Prison Fighters entered an international prison fighter tournament and won, <laughs> and even with an unhealthy knee. Boyka's story is that of arrogance becoming humble. Defeated, regaining redemption. Fallen, rising back up to greatness. While Boyka may not be as well known as Rocky Balboa and his story may not be as inspirational, he definitely has what it takes to challenge the Philadelphia Slugger. So who will come out on top? Philadelphia's comeback kid or Russia's minister of pain? The jack of all traits or the specialist? Let's find out. Now we get to examine and analyze both competitors' martial skills, starting off with Rocky Balboa. Balboa was a heavyweight boxer known as the Philadelphia Slugger for a reason. His boxing style was mainly that of a brawler, someone who was very good at overwhelming people with his strength and fury of punches. However, he was pretty nimble. Learning from people like Apollo Creed, he learned how to form a much better offense. However, his defense, while good on the move, wasn't the best when it came to boxing in general. In fact, most of the time, he let his head do the blocking. You know, there's an old adage in boxing that says if you don't move your head fast enough or if you don't put up your arms, well, your opponent's gonna be moving your head for you. Well, that happens to Rocky a lot. And this defensive last is very, very, very critical. However, Rocky could also take down his opponent's old-fashioned style street wrestling. But overall, Rocky was a specialist, a boxer, and a very good one at that. Boom! 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 One could say his style kind of reflected that of Tyson with a tiny mix of Ali later in his career. God, he's just ripping this guy apart. Yuri Boyka, on the other hand, was not known for his boxing. He's a mixed martial artist. He may have boxing skills, but they are average and leave much left to be desired when facing a more highly trained heavyweight competitor like George Chambers. 
However, this is not a sanctioned boxing match. This is a death match, meaning there are more elements at play here. We can't judge Boyka by simply his boxing skills, unfortunately for Rocky. That's right, it's not over. Not today. With regards to Boyka, this guy is a mixed martial artist like I said before. He knows takedown. He's proficient in Taekwondo, wrestling, catch wrestling, jiu-jitsu, ground jiu-jitsu, which is grappling, wrestling on the ground, again, more grappling. He's also an excellent kickboxer, and he's very good at employing Jeet Kune Do styled interceptions. Not to mention he also has a lot of Muay Thai in his arsenal as can be seen by this flying knee strike. Overall, Boyka has a huge advantage over Rocky Balboa simply because he has range with his kicks. He can kick like crazy, he's also as maneuverable, and he has a much better defense than Rocky. When Rocky throws punches, Boyka can throw punches. He can throw knees, he can throw kicks, he can do takedowns, he can fight on the ground. He can use just about every part of his body in the fight. So he really does live up to his title of being the most complete fighter in the world, in the sense that he has the perfect balance. He truly is the most complete fighter one can be. Just take this clip for instance. Here we show that he has amazing athletic abilities. Here we see some simple kickboxing. Here he takes some hits. Now he's able to form a good defense and launches a boxing styled combo with a huge fancy Taekwondo kick. But that's not all. He's going to grab his opponent coming up and he's going to knee him in the chest right here. Followed up with a flying armbar from Jiu Jitsu and he's able to beautifully transition from stand up fight to ground fight using an armbar that fails and finally finishing this fight with a triangle choke. So it's without a doubt Boyka really has the greater set of martial skill and a more diverse set of martial skill. So overall, I there's no way you could give martial skill uh, to, to Balboa. Sure, he's a better boxer, but Boyka can do everything, and hence he gets the edge when it comes to having pure out martial skill. Now we get to compare both of our competitors' X-Factor abilities, starting off with the Italian Stallion himself, Rocky Balboa. Rocky was always in great physical shape, being one of the hardest workers and trainers in fight history. But that's not all. This guy also had the incredible ability of soaking damage. This guy was incredibly durable. He would take punishment and get his ass beat for almost 15 rounds non-stop and still come out on top. His fight record is also larger or bigger than Boyka's with an 87% win rate. Win rate That is incredibly impressive. Boyka on the other hand actually worked just as hard and was I would say in better physical shape than uh, Balboa. Not to mention he also fought with a broken knee for the later half of his career. And he did it with no problem, and he was knocked down by a boxer and got up like nothing. He also has the ability to take on multiple opponents. Even though these opponents may be of low skill, it's still a lot harder than fighting just one guy. Boyka's well, fight record is also smaller, but it's more about quality over quantity. He has a 97% win rate. Most of the fights lasting less than a round. So really I give the edge to Boyka because he's in better shape and he has a better fight record.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, now's that time again. It's time for me to give a verdict with regards to this death match. Will it be Rocky Balboa, Philadelphia's comeback kid, or will it be the most complete fighter in the world, Yuri Boyka? Let's begin this. Martial skills edge is gonna go to Boyka by a continent, not by a mile, but by a continent, so that's several miles. X Factor Edge goes to Boyka narrowly. Now what's the most likely situation here? I would say these guys would probably end up fighting in an exhibition match. How long would I think it would last? Probably four rounds. And I gotta say, uh, Boyka dominates all factors of the fight. In the first two rounds, he's gonna launch an offense. Rocky not being the best defensive fighter, it's not gonna be able to mount an effective offense. Boyka will have him in just about everything except punching. But guess what? Boyka has other things to take Rocky off guard. And when he realizes he can't knock him down, he can't knock him out, by round three and round four, Boyka will simply take him down and win by submission. It'll be like uh, Randy Couture versus James Tony. It'll be fairly quick. Uh, this will be Boyka's longest fight. Uh, Boyka's never fought more than three rounds. But it's going to be a complete waste of his time because he's fought people of a much higher counter and Rocky has never fought someone like Boyka. He just does not stand a chance. The only person to beat Boyka was a heavyweight boxer but he had to learn a lot of new skills and he had to break Boyka's leg to actually beat him. So ultimately the victory is going to go to Boyka whether you like it or not 95% of the time. Balboa would have to be very lucky to knock out Boyka. And I just don't see him winning. I mean, this is probably the most one-sided fight I've done so far. I mean, there's no chance that Balboa has of beating Boyka. But that's just my verdict, so let me know if you agree. I'm the most complete fighter in the world. Uh, I move way like a freight truck. Build the muscle. You can't escape your fate. We ain't scared to tussle. I put the pressure on your offense. You can't advance. I'm a pro. Hit the bench, bro. You had your chance. Do that dance in the end zone and hold my skill. If I don't take it all the way, no one will. Get back. You out of line. And you out of your mind. You out of time. Keep searching, brother. How do you find another mind? This mission is this machine. I am is born and mortal. Don't need a key to explore the portal. Just follow me to the next dimension. Mention. You get lifted like these plates I'm benching. Go ahead, put your two cents in. Your words are worthless. Takes a strong like mine to understand my purpose. It's to shine more bright than the sunlight. I'm the star of the night. Bring it on if you're ready to fight. Bring it on. Do you accept the challenge? Bring it on. I'ma test your balance. Bring it on. You can't stand the balance. So put it on. on your legs and leave the sounds. Bring it on. You can't handle the heat. Bring it on. Bring it on, and I'm ready to eat. So we're scared, get out of here before.